I'm great. How are you? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> I'm just trying to hide from the kids because I know they see me. Aww. This live video is over. Over. <laughs> what's up? How you doing? You look good. Thank you. You too. You know, you have two kids. No one can tell. I know, right? <laughs> I know. When I tell people, I, I, I do most of my work at midnight. They don't believe me. I get my makeup done at midnight. You know, I do a lot of videos wow. for ads at, at midnight when they are, wow. you know, sleeping and resting. You're a super mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying now. You're a super mom. How are you? I'm doing good. And um, today is, uh, I'm in Canada. And, uh, oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. The sun is bright here. Oh. We're still enjoying summer. <laughs> I'm lucky you guys. Lucky you guys. The, the, the weather in London is bipolar. Today it's sunny. Tomorrow it's rainy. It's just oh. crazy. crazy. <laughs> okay. So what do you have for us? Oh, okay. So, um, first, I know you have wonderful followers that follow I you. I do. I do. Yeah. So I want to hear this thing. I'm increasing it so I can hear. Me too. I want it. So, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so I, I want to first say that for those of them that are going to stay to the end, I made sure that I brought some goodies. I it's told them already. For them. Yeah. I told them already. <laughs> okay, great. So um, today I, I, I want to share with um, you and everyone like um, the whole, I'll call it a hidden secret about getting admission and scholarship abroad. Because um, a lot of people don't know about this, and this is why we're. It's almost like it's almost like we're going like preachers from <laughs> from page to page. So uh, uh, we'll be talking about how to get admission and scholarship abroad. Yeah. 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 So um, for example, um, I'm in Canada today, but I came to Canada originally as a student, as an international mm -hmm. student. And when I was when I was about setting out on that journey. Um, the first thing that came to my mind is what we come to anybody's mind. Oh, you want to go abroad to study? Then get an agent, right? Like, go to an agent. And I was like, yeah, I got it all covered. I'm a dentist. I was practicing in Nigeria, so it wasn't a problem. So, then um, I went to different agents, about four of them mm -hmm. in Lagos, particularly. And I kept hearing one thing from them. There is no scholarship. There is no scholarship. There's no scholarship. It's like they can help you get admission, but no scholarship. Now, um, some people think that getting scholarship is about you not having the money to pay for your fees. But for me, it's much more than that. It's, it's like your prestige. It's an honor when, when somebody gives you scholarship to study, right? Because that shows that like, they reward you for the study you've done before now. Anyway, so um, when I started hearing that there is no scholarship from these agents, let me say I was tempted to believe it. <laughs> I was tempted to believe it, and um, I went ahead. Uh, I signed up with one of the agents. They actually didn't run away with my money. <laughs> they, wow. they were able to get me admission. Oh. Now, this is oh. where the problem started. The admission I was giving was, uh, was going to cost me about $50,000 in tuition alone. And of course, I, I then have to fit the, uh, my living expenses and all that. And I'm like, Sorry to cut you short. Someone says, get your viral and pen and paper. So get your <laughs> pen and paper and jot things down. <laughs> yeah. So um, when I saw that, unfortunately, I couldn't claim the admission, right? And that also meant that I had to spend more time. More like it's like you plan to do something, but when it come it, it when it comes out, it's not going as you planned. Then you have to think of something else. But you are also losing time as you're doing that. So I was lucky enough one day still in Lagos, I I um I went somewhere and uh, there was this man that I went entered his office. Uh, I saw the Canadian flag just on his table, and because I I've been wanting to uh, go to Canada to study, I was curious. Hey, why do you have Canadian flag here? You know, that was like a strange item in the room. Mm -hmm. And then he explained how he uh, he is a Canadian citizen. He went to Canada to study, went on scholarships. So, of course, it's like he was hitting all the right things that I really wanted to hear. And I was curious. I was like, hey, hey, can you, can you give me the link 
and uh, give me the link so that I can apply, right? Mm -hmm. And the man was like, see, girl, go online and search these things out. But I can understand, he's an older person, he's like 60-something years plus. And probably when he did this thing, it was like more than 20 years ago, right? Mm -hmm. But, um, so it's, it's, but it was like uh, my joy was deflated. But I took the advice, I went online, it took me time, it took me close to two years trying to research, trying to search for scholarships until I was able to crack the code. This is now the code that we're sharing with people all over the world, which is that there are scholarships available for anyone that wants to go abroad to study. There are scholarships abroad. That's the number one tip I want somebody to take away from here because um, a lot of these agents, they repeat it over and over to a, a prospective student that mm -hmm. there's no scholarship. So sometimes it just gets into the head. Now, the number two point is that there are different types of scholarship for different kinds of people. And people can actually get scholarship irrespective of their grade. For me, I think um, this is something that can save somebody today because some people feel that, like, oh, I have third class. There's nothing for me. You know, I have two, two. There's nothing for me. Scholarship is for people with first class. And even some first class people don't get scholarship, right? It's, scholarship is not only giving based on grade. Oh yeah, they, yeah, yeah. yeah they literally that. consider other things like um the quality of your CV, your community oh, engagement. Yeah. If you have ever volunteered before, in fact, some scholarships are not even based on any of these things. Let's say you may see a scholarship for a female, you know, mm -hmm. for females. So just being a woman, you're already qualified. You may see a scholarship that is sport oriented. You know, so there are different types of scholarships oh, wow. for different yeah. kinds of people. Oh wow! Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, some people just feel like, oh, it's for first class, so they don't even think Both about it. Like recently, I posted on my Instagram page, and I, I was asking people, what are some of the mistakes you've made? Somebody said she applied for admission, she didn't take the scholarship option because she didn't think she was going to even get the admission. And eventually the admission came out and she got it, right? So sometimes people just feel like they are not worth scholarship, but it's not true. They have to be able to put their best foot forward. So um, like somebody can get full scholarship, partial scholarship, and my favorite, invincible scholarship. So like a, exactly. a, place, like, <laughs> a place like Canada, right? Yeah. Okay, for example, I've, um, some of my clients have been able to get MBA with, uh, for like 5,000 something Canadian dollars a year. MBA. And these are good schools. You see the point? So now the point is that the regular MBA may just be like $21,000 and higher, right? There are schools that can actually give you very, very low tuition. It's almost like you got scholarship. It's just that it's not written on the paper that, oh, you got scholarship, right? Because the tuition is actually very, very, very low. So, because it, truth be told, there are still people that want to go abroad to study and they have the money to foot their bills, right? They're just looking for something that is affordable. So, um, for example, we have um, software that we introduce to our clients. This software helps you to search for the different schools that offer your program and then rank them based on their school fees so that outrightly you can pick the three schools for example that have the lowest tuition for the course you want to study you see these are things that can really uh, this could be the difference between somebody's dream being possible yeah. and that person not pursuing their dream at all yeah you know so yeah and um now uh, i also want to say that when we talk about scholarship and talk about doing the application process yourself, because this is what we tell people that they should do it themselves instead of handing their picture over to an agent. For some people, it feels like, is it really about the money? I can just pay an agent, right? And they, how much is it? Like, okay, mm -hmm. agent, which I, let's say, how, I, I'm just, okay, let's say $2,000 and they get it done. But so a lot of time, those same people, just like I'm going to scratch my nose. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes those same persons that got those admission, their visa is not approved. So there are a lot of people. So that's the problem too. That's yeah, that's a big problem. That's because it, an agent is like, 
let me use that word perfect, right? Like you say, I want MBA. MBA is even good, it's a general course. So you say, I want nursing. They will say, okay, we can get you nursing admission because sometimes they may have link with a particular school, right? So they, mm -hmm. they put in your name, the admission comes up. But there is something called program of best fits for a candidate, which is that the program that suits their background or that takes into, um, into cognizance their background, the academic background, work experience, professional experience. So once a student is applying outside or applying to a school, a, a program that is not a program of best fit, even when they get admission, they, they, they have problem at the visa stage. And at that point, you have already paid the agents. The agents have done their job, right? You can't even say they didn't do it. So um, we try our best to educate people that want to go abroad to study so that the different loopholes that those persons can fall in they don't get to fall into that. And I always say that even if somebody is going to use an agent, by the time they learn how to do it themselves, they know what to ask for. They know what is like, then they can supervise the agent, right? That is helping them. So it's way better for that person than um, they don't know anything about it and they just hand over their future to somebody. I don't even want to talk about all the menace of agent wahala. I, like, I'm even talking about the good agent that will collect your money and actually help you find the admission, right? Mm -hmm. Because some of them exist. But for a lot, lot, it's like you just pay, 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 and I, when you stop paying, then they stop communicating, right? So it's almost like an endless, an endless headache for that person. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the, um, should I say, some of the points that I feel that anyone who is going abroad to study should know and should be able to uh, take advantage of this advice, right? And the, uh, some of the most important ones, I know that a lot of people that want to go abroad to study, sometimes they really want to go abroad uh, to study and then return back to their country, right? Yep. But a lot of time too, they yeah, want I know. to stay back. <laughs> I know, I know. I they know. want to be able to stay back. So a, a country like Canada, for example, is almost like it's almost like Canada is begging students to come. Unofficially, why, why I said unofficially is that you, you're not going to see a signboard where they said, uh, we are Canada and we're begging students to come, right? No, but the, the rules and regulations will tell you that. Like, all through my time, wh while I was in uh, university, I was studying my master's. If I'm to count, I'll count nothing less than eight times mm -hmm. that... And um, somebody from, let's say, the visa office or the embassy, we come to the school, right? Just to educate international students on how they can become permanent residents and eventually get their citizenship, right? So it's only a country that wants students to stay that we go that extra mile. So yeah. there is a legitimate, uh, there's a legitimate process for any international student to remain in Canada become permanent resident and become a citizen eventually yeah like um, they call it um the canadian experience class so it's one of the immigration program and uh, okay. some people don't know about it so for example people that benefit from this news uh are some of the persons that they've been wanting to go to canada right but you know i i don't know if you've heard this express entry thing there is there is no buzz about express entry right yeah. so some of them they may not have like their score may not be enough their crs point that's how they mm -hmm. say it, may not be enough and then that person is like it's almost like the person is in the pool and they are stuck they don't know what to do next but this message today that this person can actually come to canada for example as a student and is able to legally stay, become permanent resident, become citizen, uh, she tell that person that there are alternatives. It's like, you are pushing on one door and that door is not opening. It's just yeah. worthwhile to look to the next door and hit on it because the good thing is that provided somebody, um, we, we handle graduates only, right? So if I'm to say from my part, I'll say provided somebody have had like let's say a post-secondary education they can always get a program to study in a place like canada so they shouldn't feel like uh this like they don't have a way out well let me hear from you what questions do you have for me i have a few i, ha I have questions? a few i really do that's why i was actually looking at the mm -hmm. 
the messages. Okay, you guys send your questions, so please. <laughs> Me, I don't, I don't think I want to study my life again. Ah, <laughs> my Maybe oh, I'll consider going to Canada for my for for my um. Because somebody said you you said um the scholarship for fashion to fa fashion school or something like that. I think There's somebody said. So, uh, so did invisible you... scholarship. Tell me about the invisible scholarship. So, <laughs> the invisible scholarship, just like the name goes, is uh, a scholarship that. You you don't see or it may not be written there as scholarship but that scholarship oh. exists and most times it comes in form of ridiculously cheap tuition Ridic because somebody oh. else somebody else will get admission and they say pay change one thousand right then mm. uh, uh, maybe that school will say i give you ten thousand dollar scholarship so your school fees is now eleven thousand another person is going to get admission no scholarship was mentioned but the school fees is five thousand wow. right so wow. uh, by invisible scholarship we mean is this person is actually getting a scholarship but it's just that it has not been written there that oh we're giving you scholarship everyone wants invisible scholarship <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, and this is where uh, um, that, that, that's what we uh, that's where the software comes in right because we make that available to um graduate students that work with us fantastic so i'm gonna ask this question somebody says I have a second class lower with mm -hmm. masters from the UK. What's the best route to take? Yeah, so it depends on the person's um, uh, master's grade, for example. So I'm going to just make a scenario. <laughs> so if this, person, if this person's master's grade is high, they can actually pro uh, uh, proceed to PhD, right? Oh, yeah. If this, okay. if, yeah, if this person, say, did a course based master's, they may be able to do like a research-based master's, which is a different type of master's that focuses on research. And um, most times, this, this kind of programs are on full scholarship, right? Now, since this person said they have master's, they also qualify for the express entry. They can, I, 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 I say, my focus today is not about immigration. I oh, only yeah? mentioned the immigration component as an advantage or as benefits that I know some people want that and I know some that would be a question in some people's mind. So somebody with masters we 100% qualify for the um express entry. So they can also do direct immigration but as they can do PhD, they can do um research based masters. They can even do PGD. Do you know um let's say for I'm from Nigeria as well obviously. <laughs> I'm from Nigeria as well, but in Nigeria something like PGD Oh, that's postgraduate diploma. Yeah. Most times, the people that get to do it are people that have third class, you know, say, go and do PGD, you know? Or somebody that have, let's say, HND, you say, go and do PGD. So it's almost like in a, in a lot of minds of Nigerians, PGD is that <laughs> program that you use to elevate yourself. But that's not exactly how it is all over the world. For example, a lot of people do PGD when they want to gain extra skill. In another place, instead of going to do like a master's or a PhD, they can actually use PGD to specialize. So let me give an example. Let's say this person did um, master's in public health. The person can do PG, PGD or postgraduate diploma in, say, food processing. Okay. You know, like a unique area they can do because PGDs are very good. They are most times like eight months to one year and you are done. So people that don't want to do like very long study, two years master's, four years PhD, PGD is actually a very good place for them, or a very good course for them to take. Okay, so this one says, oh yeah, I missed the question, but I think I remember what the person said. Um, so it says, for you to study abroad, I think mm -hmm. that's what she said, because I can't find a uh, comments anymore. Is that for you to study abroad, you must have up to 10 million naira in your account. Is that is that the truth? It's, it's not the truth. Actually, somebody can go abroad to study with a budget range from zero, let's say zero dollars, to as much as hundred dollars or hundred thousand dollars, depending on how much you want to spend. For example, um, I saw all the schools I've been to in abroad, it was all on full scholarship. So I didn't have to pay a dime from my pocket, cool. right? So th that's why I keep saying that scholarship exists. And these scholarships are not like, 
different people can get scholarships irrespective of their grade. The type of scholarship everybody is going to get eventually is going to differ. But will anybody qualify for scholarship? Yes. At minimum, they will qualify for invincible scholarship. All right, so I'm going to ask this question. This one says, are scholarships for first degree rampant in Canada? What advice would you give in regards to this? So while okay. you answer this question, let me go get my, um, my charger. Sure, you can sure. Go ahead. Go. <laughs> okay, good. So um, for, for, some, for you that want to do undergraduate studies, so first let me say that we, my organization, Vantage Migration, we do not handle undergraduate students as of today. However, I will say that there, there are also students that have been able to come here for undergraduate studies on scholarship. When you use the word rampant, I don't know what that means. Like, what I mean by that is, uh, when you say rampant, like, how do you measure? The truth is that if there are, if there are 20,000 scholarships and you don't get any, then you don't get any, right? Or, or you don't have any scholarship. And even when there are five scholarships and you have one, you are going to feel like, yes, I have a scholarship. So the point is this, that um, don't think about whether scholarship is rampant or not. Think about how can you secure one for yourself. Think about how can you secure one for yourself. So we don't handle undergrad, undergraduates, but definitely, definitely, you can actually um, apply for undergraduate scholarships. So the fact that we don't handle undergraduates does not mean that undergraduate scholarships does not exist. Okay, so um, while we wait for Laura, I'm going to use this opportunity to tell you what my company does. Uh, my company name is Vantage Migration. I'm the CEO. And for, uh, what we do is that we train students, graduate students, right? Or students have graduated from um, undergraduate degree. We train them on how to secure admission and scholarship abroad all by themselves. So we are not agents. We don't apply for you. Instead, we teach you the step by step, uh, the, the, what you have to do step by step in order to get your admission and in order to get the kind of scholarships that you qualify. Obviously, we also train you to see the different type of program you can apply for. We train you on programs of best fit, right? Like, what are the type of program you apply for so that eventually you are going to get visa? Because that is like an uh, that is a hard nut to crack right you don't want to ever be left um you don't want to ever be left uh should i say uh left stranded by an agent and there it is very very important for you to do the admission process by yourself and this is why we're going about educating everyone on how they can actually do this application by themselves welcome back laura thank you are you seeing the questions or is it just uh, me can you see questions from all there I'm seeing the questions, though. Uh, yes, I'm gonna. They are very fast. Yes. Okay, I actually thought it was just me seeing the question. Uh, oh gosh, Doctor Linda, let me see. I'm trying to. Yeah. So my my son found me downstairs. I wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my goodness. Um, I'm trying to get this. I'm going to read a few questions. Yeah. I think I can still read it regardless. Um, hold on, hold on. Oh, yes, yeah, so I found it. Found it. Okay, so I'll just go, go ahead. Um, this one says, hold on. What is the most recommended specialization in the field of economics? <laughs> That's a very, very academic question. <laughs> uh, to get a visa, wouldn't one need to have up to 10 million naira? No, you've answered that question already. Yes. And people okay, that get scholarship, <laughs> actually, their, their school is able to provide them with um, proof of funds. So, okay. so when a school is giving you scholarship, right, they give mm -hmm. you a letter to, mm -hmm. so that that person submits that letter to the embassy instead of their own account. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. Okay, so this one says, how can um, my sister is in Ukraine, okay. It says, please, how can my sister in Ukraine come over to Canada to do her master's or permanent residence or work permit? Uh, we are so confused. 
Anything oh, for that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, there's a very great answer for that, which is um, we have an a, a, you know this is more like um, this is more like an info session yeah. where we just touch on like the major points that people should take away. But we have a very very detailed webinar. Uh, oh we yeah, have a very detailed webinar. Yes, and the webinar is free that people can actually attend to get started for any. We want anyone. detail though. We want to. So, um, even though I don't want them to leave the video right now because we are still talking, but the link is on my bio actually. So, do you want us to talk about? Tell you direct. So, Salida, I've, I've got a few minutes, so go ahead, just continue. I, I think they're enjoying it. Um, this one says, I have two kids that want to come study. Will they give them visas too? Okay. Yes, uh, people, students can actually come with their family. So, oh, yeah, come with family. So, um, I'm still going to use Canada for example. So because of, I because I use a lot of Canadian examples, some people feel that we only have graduate students that are going to Canada. It's not true. In case you are thinking that <laughs> it's not true. So we have people going to different countries, all high income countries, right? US, Australia, all the high income countries. But uh I'm going to use Canada as an example because that's where I've had most of my clients. And rightfully so, because Canada is really um, giving international students a lot of leverage. So for a student, let's say uh, a student that has um, children and maybe has a spouse, so when they are, when they get the admission, they're able to apply um, apply for visa for their children as well. So the only thing, the only clause there is that you ha you have to show money to take care of your children. So for example, if somebody gets scholarship, the scholarship will not cover you and your kids. Right, oh, yeah. the scholarship will only cover the student that is coming to study. So if you are coming, to, if you are coming with your children, then you have to show money that oh, I have money to take care of my children. That that that's the most important thing. And for the person's spouse, um, Canada actually give this in their call open um open work permits. So they give the person's uh, the, the spouse of the student they give the person work permits so that the person can work full time while the spouse is studying. So this one says, can you help people in, um, can you, do you assist other nationalities like Zimbabwe with yes. scholarships? All okay. English speaking countries. Okay. Because, and the reason is because um, myself and my team, we are English speaking, right? So if mm -hmm. somebody can hear English, they can take our training. Because what we do is that we train this person to be able to do it themselves. So if they can oh, hear yeah. English, they, then they can take our training. It went irrespective of the country and mostly we focus on like um english speaking countries uh, another thing somebody can do is if they have a friend that speak english the friend can take the training on their behalf and oh then yeah that's, 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 that's cool yeah yeah that's cool so and this one want... go ahead go ahead yeah one good thing with our training is that unlike we have somebody okay you want to go abroad to study you pay an agent to get this admission. So if you want another school, then you have to pay. Or if you decide not to take the admission that year, the next day you have to pay. When we train you, we train you once. And you use the knowledge forever, right? But mm -hmm. not just for yourself. Somebody is able to use it for their family members, for their family. Okay, please continue. Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> for their friends. For, so, so what that means is that, let's say, I always say that, don't let more than one person train in a family, right? Because oh, do you really need do you really need every member of the family being trained? If I will say, when some people come and they're like, we are two, should two of us register? I'll say no. Who is the most enthusiastic about both of you when it comes to study abroad? Maybe it's a husband and wife, and they will say, Oh, maybe the wife, or maybe the husband, as the case may be. I'll say, let that person take the training. Then the person can apply for the for the rest of the persons in that household. Right, so it's actually an empowerment program if you have to call it that. Okay, so uh, okay, this question they've been asking this question. This question is so funny. Uh, they said, aside studying abroad, aside you know, being scholarship, do you do immigration <laughs> for people who actually want to relocate to Canada? No, I we don't. But, but what we can do for that person actually is that we can we can direct the person to um a licensed lawyer here in canada here mm -hmm. right we ourselves we don't handle immigration because 
we, we try our best to specialize because most times when you specialize, you're able to do yeah. that thing very, very well. So we don't even do undergraduates. That's how much specialized I do. Yeah, we handle only graduate students who are going for graduate studies. So I know, very we are very specialized. Okay, so I've got so many questions. It's just crazy. Sure, What's sure. your success rate of getting admission and scholarship, especially in Canada, after attending your training? So the, the uh, success rate depends on the students as well as the lecture, right? One thing I must say is that there are people currently studying in Canada on full scholarship through our training. There are some that were, um, that their trip were held by COVID, but I don't know if you are aware, Canada is allowing them to start from home. Because even, even oh, yeah. Canada, yeah. So, oh, cool. this, is, this is like the biggest of all news. Why other countries were like, oh, students can't travel and it's like the, student, the students are stuck. Canada is allowing students to start their study from home, right? Wow. And then they will still qualify for all the benefits of international students because of the COVID matter. So this is like a temporary, um, should I say, modification. Like it got so, I, I would say, I won't say it got so bad, but let me turn it to say it got so good that. That's what she's explaining. They're asking their success with that. What she's explaining. Listen. Yeah, they, um, it got so good that they eventually split the visa stage into two so that somebody is able to get their visa, should I use the word, preliminary visa approved and they can start studying online and when everything returns back to normal, they're able to get the uh, uh, full visa. But the, what I want to say is this, that we don't count our success based on... Um, based on who traveled. Do you know why? Some people are taking this training for their siblings. I've seen some uh, students who took our training and used the knowledge to apply for the brother. She herself wasn't going. You see the point? So, we, we don't, because of the nature of our program, which is more like an empowerment program, a lot of time, one person will take it and multiple people will travel through that person. Another time, somebody will take it and they're they are taking it just for themselves. So we are not going to be able to track everybody to be able to give a specific number. Don't people like to hear that, right? They want to hear, oh, 100%. But that would be a lie, right? That, mm. that would be a that lie. Would be realistic at all. That would be un very, very unrealistic. Let me put it, do you know that some people sign up for our class and they don't show up? And I keep telling you, I say, we are not less privileged. You can take that money, <laughs> you can take that money and bless the people on your streets. Instead of you to sign up for a class and not show up. So there are different factors that makes it difficult for us to give you a number. And I, I don't want to fall into that temptation of like, take this number, right? Because that would just be satisfying that person's ego. There is no truth in it. The okay, question so is, does it work? And it's yes. Yeah, so there are, everybody wants to... Do you, have, do you reply your DMs? Because they are all going to your private page. Um, you reply your DMs, don't you? Oh, yeah, I replied DMs. Okay, so they, are, they said they are all going there. So uh, would you like to mention how much the training is, what time, date, where, and how they can actually apply? Oh, yeah. Or... Oh, so, yeah, yeah. So the, the training, what we do is that for anybody that is interested, right, we first want them to attend our free webinar because that's, we, that's where that person is going to understand everything free. that we do. Yes, everything free. that we do. <laughs> The free webinar, right? Everything is very detailed. Everything that we do, what this process is about, before that person even start talking about money. Because I feel like when we put the money in front, it, it's like it, we, we miss the point. Because the, the point is not about the money. The point is for this person to be able to achieve their dreams, right? Yeah. So that is what we do. We make, them, we, make, we make them start with our free stuff. If they decide that, oh, I want to move to the next level. Then they can. Why not? And yeah. So how Definitely, the, the master, we have a master class and the master class is paid, right? So I'm only saying but that... But it's a webinar person, before that one. Yes, they should take the free stuff. If they decide to move to the next stage, then we can talk about that. So you're not telling them how much the master no. class is. Okay, <laughs> uh, okay, so let's take the last... It's online. Question. The training is online. So uh, people course, from different course, countries... 
people that have different locations are able to take it comfortably. Even people that have very, very tight schedule because we structured our classes for the busy working class. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The end of studying when... Da, 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 da. I want to take the very important questions. Um, you, all your questions are important. I'm just saying. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah it's just that said? summarize like two, three, four questions, right? She said no specific number. Go to the webinar. Check the webinar out first. Yeah, I, I, if you are looking for where to find the webinar, the webinar... Um, so are you ready to give out, to tell them the gifts right now? Um, Not let's yet. talk about the webinar first, then then. <laughs> okay, so the, they can find the link to uh, the webinar. They can go to um, my Instagram handle and uh, look at the link on the bio. So that's where to find the and uh, it's free. free. It's, yeah, the free webinar. They can find the link on the bio. Okay, so I'm gonna ask the last question. This one says, um, "Please, ma, can I get fully funded scholarship in Canada for masters in business um, courses?" Business there are, course. yes, yeah. the person can actually search for, yes, there are. Okay, so it's free funded, funded, you know? Yeah, fully funded, yes. Many, many, uh, some people even believe that uh, when they are in the art program or like social sciences, they hardly get scholarship. Mm -hmm. Maybe if we say compared to the sciences, right, mm -hmm. we have more scholarship for sciences, but it does not mean that there are no scholarships that exist for art programs or business courses or and there are different types of programs I, I can't even repeat it enough okay so i think we have a lot of questions but let's let's go to the gifts they are they want the gifts already <laughs> also this one says thanks laura thanks linda this program is very informative they've been praising you so they're going to your page to okay. get more knowledge uh, da, 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 da. so this one says last question but what if you what if you have a Schengen visa, do you still go this stress? You know, I mean, she, I, I, I'm thinking she's saying that would you still go through this stress of getting visas to Canada when you when you're planning to study abroad? If you have a Schengen, Schengen visa, visa is Europe, right? Europe. So um, if the person is going to Europe to study, then they, uh, if they have Schengen study visa, then they can use that because there are different types of visas, right? Oh, so, so if they have Schengen have... study visa, they can actually apply for the Canadian one, Canadian scholarship. No, no, no. That's my point that if somebody is going to a place uh, like Europe to study and they have Schengen visa, they wouldn't need another visa, right? But if they are coming to Canada, Schengen visa does not cover Canada. That's right. If you have Canada, a Canadian visa, for example, you yeah. can use it to go to US. So visas, uh, visa have jurisdiction. So if you have. Uh, a Canadian visa and you want to study, um, 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 do you still go through the online process of applying and doing all the stuff? Or you, okay. you come to Canada you person and apply? But, but you, depending on the type of visa the person has, do you know some people in Canada actually take our training to be able to get full scholarship? That's, yeah. Because yeah, this saying. training yeah. is about how to get admission and scholarship, right? And less about how to get the how to get a uh, immigration visa and all that so somebody i've had people in canada take our program because they are here yeah. especially immigrants right they are mm -hmm. here they want to get scholarship or even some international students and they want to do advanced study and they want to get scholarship yes they're able to take our training all right so they're saying thank you thank you thank you thank you, um, thank you. for this opportunity informative thank you god bless you so what uh, Let's talk about our, our giveaway now. <laughs> giveaway time! Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the big news. The big news is that we recently released this book called 99 Full Scholarships um, Abroad. 99 Full Scholarships Abroad. And the aim of the book is, uh, uh, let me add the old point. 99 Full Scholarships Abroad that are hidden from Google. Because a lot of oh, those whoa, scholarships, whoa. if you go on Google to search, you're not going to find them, right? So whoa. like that, these scholarships are broad, they are hidden from Google. And this is, uh, this is a collection of scholarships. And um, the point is, this is not the only scholarships that are hidden from Google. This is just a sample. To tell this person that these scholarships, there are multitude of them, you are just not seeing them when you go online. And we included the links to them. We, we put the screenshot, we put the website and everything. So we put this book together and 
for your followers that have been listening actively, we want yeah. to give this book. We usually sell it for forty-seven dollars, but we want to give it to uh, for free within the next twenty-four hours for all those that are going to get it today. Those that are listening and how to get it? Who wants to know how to get it? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> so how to get it is um. Go to my uh, go to my bio right now, Dr. Linda Ihemme. That's uh, D R L I N D A I H E M E at Dr. Linda Ihemme on Instagram. On my bio, I put the link there. So it's a link tree link that is there currently. But sometimes we replace it with the we free webinar link or the book link depends. But once they go there, they are going to see the link that we give them access to the book, and is within a short, within twenty four hours, hours from today. So, and if you don't follow us, the link will not work. <laughs> <laughs> you have to click follow. Then you go and click on the link. If cool. not, click, 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 click. Then the link. Cool. Will not work. No, they are adding the light already. <laughs> No, no, no. The link no, we no. give them access to download the free uh, the, the book, right? I mean, away. for personal, this one says for personal. They can DM, they can DM me yeah, or they can yeah, email sorry. as well, right? My email address is Dr. Linda Advantage Migration.ca. Should I spell that? Maybe. <laughs> Dr. Yeah. Linda, that's but, but is, that your, is, is it in your bio? Is, is not maybe D R L I N D A. That's Dr. Linda at Vantage V A N T A G E Migration M I G R A T I O N dot C A. So Dr. Linda Advantage Migration dot C A. They can email me directly. Fantastic. Whoa, thank you, Dr. Linda. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Let, okay, cool. And yeah. thank you, Laura, right, for put, uh, like for making this happen. Thank you. Thank so you for much. educating me. I, I, I was clueless before now. Thank you. I want your thank content. You. Like, thank you. Now I'm thinking of Canada. This is something. Mm. Hey, hey. You know, thank you so much for educating me. I, I had I had a great time talking to you. Thank you. Great, great time. Thank you. Uh, yeah, they are going to your DM now. Is that Fantastic. right? Thank you guys for listening to this session. Thank you. Dr. Yeah. Linda. God bless you. God bless you. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah. Whoa. See, so many people watch this stuff.